Welcome to Jefferson Community and Technical College's English 101 Introduction to Writing course. This online course is taught and designed by Dr. Tiffany Young and is a recipient of the 2020 Blackboard Exemplary Course Program Award. The purpose of this course is to provide instruction in drafting and revising essays that express ideas in standard English, reading critically, thinking logically, responding to text, addressing specific audiences, and researching and documenting sources. In this course tour, I will highlight three standout practices that help create this exemplary course and give you a sneak peek of the course design. The first standout practice is Dr. Young's ability to create relevance for each week's learning material and activities. To begin each module page, including lecture information, assignments, and discussion board posts, she explains the importance of the information and how it will be used in the course. This serves two purposes, communicates the importance and role of the information and or actions, and two, holds the instructor accountable for asking students to participate in relevant activities. This also pushes back against the idea that course activities are busy work and explains the relevance of each piece in connection to the larger context of English. Sometimes it can be difficult for students to understand the value a general education course adds to their education. Statements of relevance help bridge the gap between what students believe will help them in their lives and profession and how the content of the course will fit into their present and future. The second standout practice is inclusion of regular feedback from students. Each week, students have the opportunity to submit an anonymous form that collects their experience of the course. This allows students an opportunity to provide immediate, informative feedback on the course design, content, and their instructor. It also provides Dr. Young with an opportunity to make revisions and adjustments if needed. Another benefit of including regular opportunities for student feedback is it prompts Dr. Young to check for personal assumptions and bias. She designed the course with specific intentions and goals. Understanding how her students experience the course forces her to determine if her intentions have been met. According to Dr. Young, the act of surveying students also demonstrates my pedagogical view of students as participants with a wealth of knowledge. And finally, Dr. Young's third standout practice is the demonstration of her role as an academic resource to her students. It can sometimes be difficult for faculty to move away from the sage on the stage role and into one that is more of a coach or mentor, but coaching and encouraging exploration within the material is a practice that works exceedingly well in an online course. Dr. Young accomplishes this by doing a few things. First, she uses positive language and seeks to build rapport with her students from the start of the class. In the introduction to the course, she explains that her goal is to help students be successful in this course. She also ends each major assignment with a what to do if you are struggling link, which explains the resources available to students. She also shared that she emails students who miss an assignment deadline using the subject line, you have the power to change your grade. In those emails and throughout the course, she asks students how she can help them be successful. Her goal is to offer assistance, but also to help students feel welcomed and comfortable in the learning environment and with the materials. This can be seen through the first words in week one, you are welcome here, and is continued through the positive language she uses in assignments and rubrics. In summary, building relevance, Feedback from students and the faculty as an academic resource work together to provide an outstanding learning environment for the student. 